Let us have a look at this question. Pause the video, read the question and try to do it yourself first. Which of the following can aid in furthering government's objective of inclusive growth? So by inclusive growth, what exactly we mean? We mean that the people who are from the backward sections of the society, they are also being taken, they are also taking part in the growth process of the economy. Who are poor, who are socially disadvantaged, who are economically disadvantaged. They are also the part of the growth process of the country. Is promoting self-help groups a, a part of the inclusive growth? Absolutely. So self-help groups, they are the informal organization in which people, they come together in, in a small group and they try to improve their standard of living. Particularly, uh, the social capital among poor, that is, especially women. And promotion of self-help groups is the part of the inclusive growth, undoubtedly. So yes, this is the part. This can aid in promotion of self-help group. Promoting micro, small and medium enterprises. Promoting micro, small and medium enterprises. But before than that, you know what? Uh, I think we should be writing few government initiatives which are there for each of them. So while you read any Indian economic question, don't just mark the right answer. Also try to see what else you can learn from other options as well. Uh, so for promoting of self-help groups, I think I'll be writing a uh, few lines. There are few programs. One is... Swaran Jayanti Gram Swarozgar Yodhjana Swarozgar Yodhjana Right It was started in 1999 then there is the another program which is National Rural Livelihoods Mission, which is also called the Deen Dayal Antyodaya Yojana. Deen Dayal Antyodaya Yojana. This is also called uh, National Rural Livelihoods Mission. Okay. Then um, promotion of micro, small and medium enterprises. So one, this is the part of the inclusive growth. Yes, this can help in uh, promotion of the objective of inclusive growth. One is, other is promotion of micro, small and medium enterprises. Now, these small enterprises... In case if they are enhanced, in case if they are developed, they will also be the part of the inclusive growth, right? So they can also take part or part in the growth process of the country. And government has again taken up many initiatives in order to promote or, or help these MSMEs. So there are a few schemes which I'll just write for micro, small, medium enterprises. Please write that. One is Emergency Credit Line Guarantee Scheme. I am again telling you, for Indian Eco questions, don't just think, and particularly for any objective type, don't just try to think that uh, what is correct is correct. I mean, of course, that is correct. But you also have to see the other options also. And that is the way to learn. Whether you are preparing for CUET or UGC Net or whatever paper, you need to know all the options. This is the way to study for the objective type uh, paper. Emergency credit. Lines, line guarantee scheme. One is this. Other, uh, there is Atmanirbhar Bharat economic package. Nirbhar Bharat Ek 
economic package. And then you have Udyami. Portal. Udyami portal. Udyami Mitra portal. Udyami Mitra portal. Right. So it will improve the accessibility of credit and the handholding services to MSMEs. Okay. So there are other schemes also. You can just learn a few of them. Then you have Implementing Right to Education Act. Yes, that is undoubtedly a part of, uh, uh, I mean, that is going to help in the promotion of uh, uh, inclusive growth. Absolutely. Why? Because you know what? Right to Education Act is going to mandate all private schools to reserve 25% of their seats for children from socially disadvantaged and uh, economically backward sections. That is fair enough. I mean, that is the part, right? That is helping in inclusive growth. 25% of private school seats. There are other things also in Right to Education Act. I'm just writing that particular point which is which is helping in the uh, meeting of objective of inclusive growth. 25% of private school uh, seats reserved for children of socially disadvantaged and economically backward sections. Write about them, right? Okay, then you have introducing a, uh, your skill enhancement enhancement programs. Yes, that is also the part of uh, the inclusive growth. Uh, so, in case if that is uh, if if people skills are going to be increased, and uh, uh, skills of those who are marginalized, who are socially who are socially disadvantaged, then definitely that is also the part of the inclusive growth, right? So yes, this is there and this is there also. There are few initiatives which the government has taken for this. One is Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana. Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana. Right. Then you have, uh, uh, there is Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Kendra Industrial Training Centers and then one, one is there, Skills Strengthening Strengthening For industrial value in for industrial value enhancement enhancement of course we are not writing every point which is related to this but one you should understand is that try to write few points for each of the objective type for each of the options of the objective type also particularly in Indian eco particularly in public economics or whichever is is a theoretical kind of subject. So you should understand why one option is not correct also. But here all the options are correct. So you have D as the right answer. Which of the following committees examined and suggested financial sector reforms? Now, most of us might know the answer, which is Nursimum Committee. But again, I must tell you, you should be writing one one line for each options also. So why, what are the other committees doing? So one was Abid Hussain uh, committee. So Abid Hussain committee report uh, was on small enterprises, right? So please write, this is submitted its report. On 
in small enterprises. 1997, right? Then you have Bhagwati Committee. Bhagwati Committee was uh, the committee which was formed to review the unemployment status in the India and the measures of for solving the problem of growing unemployment in India, right? And it suggested various measures for uh, rural electrification, road building, rural housing, also everything. So. It was in 1973 measures solve unemployment. It submitted its report in 1973. Chileya committee. Now Chileya committee uh, was for the tax reforms. I think if you were uh, doing one of the reading with me on uh, uh, written by Harshodhan Singh, right now we were just uh, recording that particular reading. There also we mentioned Chileya committee a lot. So the committee made uh, recommendations to the comprehensive reforms of the central taxes. Reforms. in central taxes right. uh, so and the government of india set up this committee in 1991 so this is the uh, year of setting this up right and uh, the final reports were submitted in 1992-93 also Narsimham Committee 1 and Narsimham Committee 2. There were two committees. So financial uh, sector reforms were suggested by Narsimham Committee 1. Right. And uh, banking sector reforms were given by Narsimham Committee 2. Hmm. Right. Financial sector reforms was uh, uh, suggested by Narsimham Committee 1 in August 1991. Right, uh, and uh, this this was the time when the committee was established, and in 1998, Narsimha committee committee two was there. That was mainly for banking sector reforms. Banking sector reforms. Right. And Narsimham Committee 1 was for financial sector reforms. Now, I'll ask you one question. Please answer that in comments where uh, you might know this. So, for what purpose Tindilkar Committee was set up and for what purpose Rangarajan Committee was set up? Hmm? So please answer that in comments. Thank you, Vita.